You know sleep is super important, so you follow your sleep routine, you avoid the blue light at the end of the day, you keep your room nice and dark and cool and comfortable, and then you follow your meditation. So why are you still sleepy all the time? In this video, I'm gonna share with you three reasons why you're sleepy and tired all the time and what you can do about it. Hey, I'm Dr. Sam McDonald. I'm a brain health expert, and this channel is dedicated to helping you rewire your brain so that you can live a better life. If you love this content, make sure to like and subscribe so you get the notifications for each week's new video. So reason number one why you're tired all the time is that your nervous system is wired for stress. You see, you have two different states of how your nervous system functions. You have your fight or flight state and you have your resting, relaxation and healing state, AKA brake pedal. This one is gas pedal. So you have two different states of how you function and you cannot be in both at the same time. So if you're a person who is trying to do all the different steps and things to go to sleep, you're doing all the outside things, but internally your system is still wired for stress, then you're not gonna be getting a good night's sleep because your brain is perceiving a threat somewhere and it's gonna keep you in that defense mode, which means you're not gonna get down in those deep sleep stages, which means you're not gonna get the energy refill that you need for the next day, which means you're gonna feel tired and sleepy all because your nervous system is wired for stress. So what you need to do is practice more exercises to exercise your vagus nerve, AKA the main nerve for that relaxation and healing mode during the day and the evening. You gotta do both because you gotta to start to prime that nervous system to be back into a more relaxed, calm and restful mode. The next reason why you're feeling sleepy and tired all the time is because you're lacking the necessary brain waves for getting good quality sleep. These two brain waves are your theta brain waves and your delta brain waves. Your theta is associated with light sleep and deep relaxation. This brain wave is really important because when you're in a dream state, which is when theta is most active during your sleep cycles, this is where you catalog information from short-term memory into long-term memory. So if you're the type of person who walks into rooms and forgets why, or maybe you're like losing your train of thought in mid conversation, or you can't seem to remember where you put your phone, keys, wallet, or those kind of things, then you're lacking in some of that theta brainwave activity during your sleep cycles, which is gonna muddle up your memory and keep things kind of clogged. On the flip side, delta is deep sleep. This is when you're dead to the world, deep sleep. This is where your body physiologically heals itself. And this is also where you create energy for the next day. So if you're not getting down into these deep sleep cycles, then you're also gonna be feeling very sleepy and tired because your body's not creating the energy that you need for the next day. So if you're lacking in either one of these, what you need to start doing is more meditation. You need to find times during the day to quiet your mind down so that you can start to stimulate these theta and delta brain waves. The best time to do these when these are the most active is in the morning or the evening time. So finding and carving out that 20 to 30 minutes that you may need to start to stimulate these brain waves. Because as we, as we tell people, sleep is a lot like landing an airplane, not turning off a light switch. You need to have this process of unwinding not just hitting the, not just letting your head hit the pillow and fall asleep. And finally, our last tip, if you find yourself waking up at around the same time every night, then your body may be trying to tell you something. And this is where we borrow from our friends over in Chinese medicine, we borrow what's called the horary clock, which is gonna tell you when certain organ and meridian systems are the most active and underactive during the day and during the night. So if you're the type of person that wakes up around 2 a.m., Every single night, this is gonna correlate on the horary clock with the liver, which means that you may have a congested liver. You may be needing to back off of things like medications, like alcohol, or potentially even some of the more high processed foods that you're eating because your liver is just too congested and it's getting backed up and it's waking you up during the night time. So on that note, you should be healthy by choice, not by chance. And for that reason, I will see you on the next video.